gonna go through some of the gear we're gonna be using this year. Uh, new to saddle hunting, actually, both Eric and I are. Eric's got a little bit of experience with hunting out of one. I have never done it. So this year, uh, Latitude Outdoors has hooked us up with some really nice saddles. We're both gonna be sporting the Method 2. It's a two panel saddle. So hang on here, we're gonna show you what we're working with. I'm also going to team that up with the uh, Latitude knee pads. Uh, didn't realize knee pads were a necessity until I climbed a tree for the first time and was leaning into the tree with uh, shorts on. That uh, knees were going to get pretty tore up if I continue to not wear knee pads. So these are pretty nice. Uh, got the real soft Vibram pad on the outside for gripping the tree doesn't make a whole lot of noise and they upgraded the uh, the material that these are made out of and there's no velcro these have the, the nice nice snap on them I'm looking forward to using them so here we have the method 2 by latitude outdoors uh, really nice saddle I mean I can't say much bad about it i don't have much to compare it to because this is the only saddle i've ever put on uh, but it is very comfortable coming from a guy that's you know hunted out of a tree stand most of his life uh, it's very comfortable no hip pinch i hear a lot of complaining about single panel uh, saddles that people get hip hip pinch uh, when they when they're sitting in it for a long period of time or if it just doesn't fit right, maybe, I don't know. But this, uh, very comfortable. I will say it's taken a little bit of getting used to uh, hunting out of this, putting the tree in front of me versus having the tree behind me. But there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. I'm gonna give this a real solid go this year uh, and see how much I really like it and see if I uh, continue to use this more often than the tree stand. But for the first couple sits of the year, I'm gonna be hunting out of this guy. I have it outfitted with the uh, Method 2 dump pouch, it's all set up, uh, loaded down with, uh, with some milkweed already, and then uh, lineman's belt that comes with. Actually, purchased this separately. Um, seems to work really good. I'm pretty happy with it. It's not very bulky, uh, real, real nice piece of equipment all, all tied up and loops all sewn together and they put quality hardware on it. And then uh, the tether is built the same way. So out of the Oplux eight millimeter rope, it looks like. Great system. Um, I think what's really nice about this too is uh, the leg straps on this, they have the G-clip and makes it for a real quick attachment and detachment. You can walk in with this unattached so it's not clanking around and making a lot of noise you just wear this around your waist and it's uh lightweight and doesn't make hardly any noise at all there's no metal on this thing that's probably the huge huge benefit to it there's no metal here no metal here to go clanking and uh alerting those deer to your presence in their area not like uh, a tree stand so onto the sticks uh, built my own mini sticks this year uh, out of some 6061 uh, one inch by one inch uh, eighth inch wall aluminum tubing uh, this was actually going to go in the scrap bin so I took it and repurposed it and built a set of sticks out of it traditionally I was always a, a three-step full-length stick guy uh, lone wolf steps the sticks uh, this setup here I went with this just because I got tired of snagging on things. You know, I'm going with a lightweight setup this year with a saddle, a set of mini sticks just makes sense. So it's less noise and less chance to get caught on things. So I also, I'm going buckleless. This thing, no more, not dealing with it. Um, I don't care about the weight so much, but just the chance of something getting clanked on. It's, it, it's just nice and quiet. And I did the, the double wrap method. So there's plenty of YouTube videos and I'm sure I'm not calling it the right thing and that's all right. I'm not perfect, I'm just okay. But basically 
you go around the tree, around the tree like so. And then underneath, wrap, wrap and pull. You gotta do a lot to get that off of there. It, it's, a, it's a pretty pretty nice method of attaching your sticks without a buckle. So if you got a bulk, buckle that takes a crap or just don't wanna use the buckle, like I'm gonna do, um, buckleless method is pretty solid. I ran up and down the tree with it a bunch over the weekend, shooting from the saddle and very, very happy with it. Very secure feeling. I mean, just like any other, with the buckle, you, you set the stick it maybe droop four to six inches before it finally sets in. You know, if you can pull tighter, you probably don't have as much movement, but it's pretty darn solid. I'm very impressed with it. Would be nice to have a longer strap on here. Um, I would say if you're gonna go with a, a longer strap, go with at least an eight footer, so that way you can get around trees that are bigger than 18 inches, because that's kind of what I'm limited to here with this. Built my own platform, just a Clems style. Uh, again, recycled aluminum, some old parts, this is the seat off the old original Lone Wolf uh, cast stand. So not a whole lot of adjustment in it. Use the bat wing off of the uh, XOP tree stand. And this one I'm not chancing. I'm, I'm using a buckle on this one. It just, it just works better for me for that. Uh, pretty quick and down and dirty. You cinch it on and it's ready to go and cam lock it in after you step on it. And it's, it's pretty darn solid. Uh, can't complain. It's a tiny platform. So for those of you who like bigger platforms, probably not the way to go for you. But I'm kind of doing all this DIY and on the cheap this year. Um, I'd rather afford a tag and an out-of-state hunt rather than stick a ton of money into gear. So that's what I'm running for uh, sticks, platform, and my saddle. Okay, as Hunter.